a new shoot head video. The map problem. Why am I moving right? And look at those comments. Chat, wake up. VTuber content just dropped. And hell yeah, you are right. The VTuber content did just drop. Hi, Alana, Kitsu, Rosie Bell, Alicia X Death, Milky Mew, Pine Baby, Aqua, Dipper Dog, and whoever I forgot. Does Arundel do reactions? Not entirely sure. Look at that! And hell yeah, you're right. New VTuber reaction content just dropped. We are so ready. The man problem. Why are men moving right? People all around the world are taking men's issues more seriously, and the gender war has finally come to an end. Oh, hell. Just it. kidding. Everything has gotten worse, and nobody has learned anything. From the witches yeah. on The View cackling about how men are useless. Do we need men? <sighs> Here it is! Men are useless. <laughs> I mean, it's that I reacted to this video. This, this, bro, I, re I remember this. Oh, this one is painful. <laughs> to women online saying they'd rather be stranded in the woods with a bear than a man. We talked about that one too. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? bear. The bear. 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 Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. I've already voiced my opinions in regards of these men. I've talked about these! Ah, The bear thing make me so angry. Seems that things have gotten more toxic than ever, and the gender divide couldn't be any wider. Especially politically. In 2008, 58% of young people leaned Democratic. 2012, 53%. And in the last two major election years, that percentage held steady at 55%. But in 2023, that number dipped below 50% for the first time since 2000. So, wait, which side is the right? The red one? And, five. and oh, you'll notice one. right here, they've started to lean more Republican. And that's partly because of one specific group, young men. Yay! Yay! Okay, I know I said I was going to focus on the gender war and not talk the white energy, monster energy drink, as always. Thank you, show. About politics <laughs> for a while. However, I found a loophole. Politics is talking Yay! about gender war. With this election being hailed by the media as the man versus woman election, Here according to any and all data coming out recently, men all around the world have shifted more right and women have shifted more left. But women going more left was not the focus of this month's outrage. The outrage, of course, was about men. That's right, we got our yearly, oh no, what is happening to men? Why are they moving to the right? Freak out. But unlike last year, this freak out isn't solely happening on the internet, no. It's also happening in Washington, D.C. There are no, only 46 days Washington. until Election Day, and the harris Walls campaign is struggling to appeal to a group of voters that could determine the outcome of the election, and that is men. The Harris campaign is making an aggressive last-minute effort to win over younger male voters. Am I re Any Americans on chat right now? Any Americans? And I don't want to stop the discussion or ask of why you are voting for them. You know what? Uh, we'll make a poll. We will make this a poll. So you don't have to out yourself if you don't want to. Like, I do not want the reason. I just want to know who you're voting for. Um, who are you voting for? Kamala. Trump. Not voting, not American. So all you non-Americans can vote too. Here you go. I choose not to vote. Yeah, I, I gave an option to not voting. Like, if you're not American, just choose the not American part. <laughs> so, because I know you guys are trigger happy. I know you guys would just, like, choose anyway. <laughs> oh, I forgot coding. <laughs> no! America be coding. Fuck! Let's go, Max Participation. Yeah, like, go. Show me who you're voting for. Or if you're voting at all. Not American. Yay! Really gonna make a video criticizing the Democrat Party days before the election? Of course yeah. I am. Now, before yeah. you celebrate or grab your pitchforks, this is not a pro-Trump video. This is a do-better video. This is a mommy's not mad, she's disappointed video. 
Actually, I lied. Mommy's pretty mad. In this video, I am going to be addressing the Democrats' so-called man problem, the recent discourse about men moving right, the last-minute pandering the Democratic Party is doing to get them back, what they could be doing instead, and of course... Yeah, what they are doing is just insulting Trump. Like, at the moment, from what I've seen anyway, fucking Kamala is just insulting Trump and calling him Hitler. Like... And you know what? That made more people vote for Trump more. <laughs> they hate mongering. Disgusting. Of course, going over some terrible opinions. Not my opinions. I have never had a bad opinion in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show real quick. Uh, I just want to show you guys real quick on the um, stream 2. Here, those are the results. Those are the results, uh, not on the stream, on, on, on YouTube. YouTube, those are the results. Those are the voting results. There you go. Not American. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Most of you guys are not American. Not voting! Trump and Kamala. Well, interesting. Back to your corner, chat. Back to your corner. Except that one opinion. We don't talk about that one opinion. In a world where it seems like oh, no. everything men do and like is toxic, from eating meat to working out to even having a beard. Oh wait, that reminds me. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. From eating meat to- Meat consumption feeds on toxic masculinity? <laughs> to working out. How's- how gym bro culture is harming young men? The pressure to get jacked is sparking a male mental health crisis and driving men into the arms of the far right? To even having a- Why men with beards are sexist? I love that one. I'm taking a screenshot of that one. Say it ain't so. I- <laughs> I want to make that my Twitter banner. <laughs> I want to make that my Twitter banner. That is so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Folds no beard here, but still sexist. <laughs> beard. Oh wait, that reminds me. Before we get into this video, let's quickly give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Henson Shaving. What if you the? used a multi-blade razor... Hey, she's so pretty. I... I, I don't know, I just have a thing for ponytails. I think ponytails are fucking hot. Probably familiar with this story. Pony, ponytails are so fucking hot, man. And the glasses, god, she's cute, man. In a non-gay way. <laughs> what, I got a beard and an 81% sexist? This is crazy! <laughs> this is a fitting ad for Kitsu. <laughs> Irritation, razor burns, and maybe even ingrown hair. Studies show two-thirds of men hair experience sucks. some form of irritation after shaving. It's something Ooh. they just expect at this point. They Is that true? I wouldn't know. Deal with overpriced blades, irritated skin, and think that's just the way it has to be. What are we watching Until today? Until now. Shoot. Henson Shaving is on a mission to improve shaving with real innovation and a focus on your skin. Not Manscaped? Interesting. I can't grow a beard and I'm offended by this ad. <laughs> Skin's health. Their razors are made with solid aluminum, making oh, them not the only durable. When it's manual shaving, not even a razor, but environmentally like friendly razor? too. There's no, no plastic involved at all, even in the packaging. And the blades oh, are fully recyclable. What really sets Henson apart is their engineering, with their Henson AL-13 safety razor being manufactured in an aerospace machine shop that built parts for the International Space Station. What? This precision allows what? the blade to extend just a th What? 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 That's correct, Shaving Gillette and Electric destroy your fossil? Fossil? Follicles? Follicle? Fo fo 
moving on. Thousandth of an inch beyond the shave plane, less than the thickness of a human hair. The That's razor prevents any bouncing or Damn. skipping, resulting in an irritation-free shave every time. Henson even partnered with a medical imaging startup, and results indicated that the Henson AL13 razor significantly reduces razor burn in comparison to conventional multi-blade razors. Wow. Since I switched to using Henson as my go-to razor brand, my shaves have been more silky. Your shaves? Your shaves? Ayo. And smoother than ever. No more burns or cuts, Ayo. just a close shave that feels amazing. In other words, <laughs> no more leg up. beard. <laughs> The best part is, once you invest <laughs> I in know, a I'm making razor, a joke. it's a lifetime purchase. The only thing you need to repurchase are the blades, which only cost 10 cents each. 10 cents. Oh. So once you own a Henson razor, you'll only be spending three to five dollars a year on blades, compared to the ongoing cost of buying those expensive plastic cartridges. Oh. Razors are actually so fucking expensive. I bought a uh, freaking electric one recently. That nice. But goddamn, this, this, is, this is a convincing ad. <laughs> Henson store offers a variety of colors, so you can pick the razor that best fits your style. So head over to hensonshaving.com slash shoe and use my special discount shoe at checkout to get 100 blades for free with your purchase of a Henson razor. Ayo, hey, 100? How much does one cost though? Let's see. It's time for a change. Beyond blah 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 Where's the money? Seventy dollars! Well, euros! Seventy bucks, chat! Now you know. Now you know. Kids has gone to base and to chat. That started her growing a beard habits. <laughs> Maybe I need to get a joke toggle of a beard. <laughs> 50 bucks for 100 blades, damn that cheap. No, 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 no. It's 50, 70 bucks. It's 70 euros for the razor. And then you can add 100 blades, which is 10 bucks extra. It's right here. Right here, my my face is in the way. It's right here. Why am I moving? Right here. At the hundred plates, and then at the Hanson stand, at the Hanson shaving cream. But if you use the code shoe, you get the ten bucks for free or something. She said. There you go. There you go. Other way. Back to the video. Your skin and your environment will thank you. Big thank you to Hanson for sponsoring this video, and thank you for not skipping the ad. You didn't skip the ad, right? And now, no. let's get back to the video. If you are a regular viewer to the Shoe on Head channel, Yay! first of all, I'm sorry. But also, oh. you know by now, I have been documenting the internet and society in general's growing and widely accepted hatred of men. This has been yes. happening for a very long time. And if you dare spoke up about it, you were called an incel or a pick me, depending on your gender. <laughs> I've been called a pick me. I've been called a pick me. I have. I've been called a pick me over the watching. <laughs> I'm the pick me fox. It's me, 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 me. But seemingly, almost out of nowhere, there has been a change of heart. You know, I think men are in crisis. Actually, they are in this country. Uh, I oh, think it plays out different ways. But I think we need to have a real conversation about that. Wow, that's interesting. Mainstream media talking about this? Yeah, what <laughs> I the fuck? Why they care so much now. Democrats oh, no. fear Harris losing too many male voters to Trump. Oh. Signs have been mounting that, for the first time in recent decades, mm. Democrats may lose majority support from young men in 2024. The risk to Democrats is that this is not just a one-time fluke, but an indication of growing trouble with men in coming elections. Democrats can celebrate the support they are getting from young women, but they also need to take the disaffection of young men seriously, engage them directly, and respond to the visions of manhood and masculinity that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance are offering. All right, Kamala, you got two weeks to reverse anti-male propaganda and resentment fueled by our government, media, and institutions. Mm. How are you gonna do it? Harris campaign creating space for white dudes. 
creating space for white dudes. Bro, have you all seen the fucking Fortnite shit she's doing? Have you all seen that shit? Fucking Freedom Town, completely paid by Kamala campaign. That's not patronizing at all. Yeah, Fortnite. Yes, Fortnite. Actually, uh, I can find it. Here it is, exclusive. The Kamala Harris campaign has revealed a first look at its Harris-themed Fortnite map as the Democrats continue their push to target gamers in the presidential election's final days. <sighs> if only they actually cared. The map doesn't allow guns, but you can destroy the city from what I- What? 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 It's a lot easier to win over people the same as yourself rather than anyone different. Hence the struggle to get men to pick Harris over Trump. Bro, Harris is not doing herself a fucking favor. I mean... <laughs> they call <laughs> Trump's Buddha garbage and what does he do? do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. How do you like my garbage truck? <laughs> this truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. In response, <laughs> fucking that's so based. That is so fucking based. I, I can't. This garbage truck is pretty cool, not gonna lie, yeah, bro, he's actually doing side quests. Like, he's doing side quests while still doing his main quest. <laughs> like, his main quest being fucking going for president on the side. He's, like, going to McDonald's. He's going to collect in the garbage. Maybe I should have voted for him, huh? <laughs> Wait, Trump? That is Trump? Damn, that orange man know how to make a meme of himself. He does! When your custom character appears in a cutscene. Oh, that's a great idea. I mean, a little too late, but I'm glad you're finally doing s To be honest about role in history. Oh. Oh, wait, I'm glad what? you're finally doing s To be honest. How is campaign creating space for white dudes to be honest about role in history? Uh. Huh? Huh? What's that even supposed to mean? The fuck? Honest about role in history. Oh. It's always a space for white men to talk about how much they suck. What made you Fun. start this group, White Dudes for Harris? And I suspect some. White Dudes for Harris launches $10 million ad by in key. This is where your taxes are going. My American brothers, this is where your taxes are going. Some of it has to do with the, the polling. Yeah, for far too long, the left has essentially ceded white men to the MAGA right. There's large parts of the left who have uh, gone out of their way to alienate white men over the last couple of years. And that's understandable in many ways. We decided- Wh that Huh? Fuck off! What is he just said alienating uh, them was understandable? Piss off! That we wanted to create space for white men uh, to be a part of electing uh, Vice President Harris. At the top of the call, White Dudes for Harris organizer Ross Morales Rocchito said he wanted to address what he called the elephant in the room, criticism surrounding an event organized for white men given the country's history of racism. So dumb. I'm so Bro. Like, in all honesty, all of this, if I was an American citizen, all of this shit, just by the entire media fucking shit right here, I would not vote for Kamala. I would not. 
I don't know if I'd vote for Trump. Probably not. I'd probably not vote for anyone because the voting system fucking sucks ass in America. But like, just from this, Kamala? No. That's okay, their wife's boyfriends are voting for Trump. It looks like a beta male C word to me, not gonna lie. Not offending people who look like that. <laughs> okay, man. They need more than two parties to vote for, like we have in Estonia. We have like 30, in fact. Yeah, like only having two? That was ridiculous. I would rather go expire in a corner, I feel like. Just vote for Cthulhu? Hell yeah. A lot of people felt uncomfortable about the call, he said. Throughout American yeah, no history, way. when white well, men like, organized, no it was often with pointy hats on. They can't even have their gay little zoo. No way! No way! Oh my god! No fucking way! Pointy heads, pointy white heads and ropes, am I right? Oh I believe God. there are more than two parties in America, right? I know right and left, but that can't be the only choices, right? I have no idea. I actually don't. I'm sorry, I don't. But there's no way. Bro, this is the same fucking shit as holding people accountable for their action, Not their actions. Holding people accountable for their ancestors' actions. Like, this would be the same as still calling- <laughs> Let me actually go one step further with this one. This? Holding people accountable for their actions? You know? For their ancestors' actions. You know what that brought us? World War II! That brought us World War II! Holding Germany constantly accountable for their actions and making Germany poor as fuck? Like, fucking... This, this... This shit can't happen, man. Original Sin is on the menu, boys. Yeah. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Like, I... am not to blame... for what my ancestors did. There I am not my parents. There are just Republicans and Dems. You have other third parties, they just don't get enough votes to gain traction. So I for see. most intents and purposes, they don't exist. Mm. I see, I see, I see. If you don't learn from your history, you are doomed to repeat. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly, 100%. Also, thank you for the sub. Like I said before, history doomed to repeat when people keep ignoring it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. The Democrats played themselves. They have a supporter base that can flip any action or definition instantly. They can never please them. Yep. Up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate this. 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 Moving on. Throughout American history, when white men organized, it was often with pointy hats on. They can't even have their gay little Zoom call where they circle jerk about hating themselves without their own movement going, yikes! A bunch of white males in one space? Seems kind of like the KKK. Black people can have their little groups and that's fine, but if a bunch of white people get together, well... Well, that's just called bread tube. What? Never mind. White dudes what? for Harris. <laughs> I mean, she's doing pretty bad with Latinos, too. What's next? Hombres con Harris? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not an American. I am. I'm sorry, my American fellows. Sorry, American brothers, but I... I'm happy I'm not an American. This is Cinema Kitsu. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Jesus Christ. We're only eight minutes into the video, by the way. And we're already 24 minutes into the recording. Jesus fucking Christ, this is gonna be a ride. Oh. So basically, men are leaving the Democratic Party in droves, and it's not looking too good for the Democrats. So it wasn't long until everyone's favorite discourse hit Twitter again. If Kamala loses, <laughs> which is very possible, there needs to be a real discussion about how Democrats- 
there's, there's, I want to chime in on this and say there's been a meme, quote unquote, a meme going on on Twitter where if Kamala wins, I will do this. I will buy everyone who comments uh, a game. I will draw everyone who comments something, right? Because people are so sure Kamala ain't winning. I did my own version of this. I did my own version of this. <laughs> if Kamala wins, I will post feed pics. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> for real, for I real. Knew plenty of white guys that lived just like me, either richer or poorer, but we still respected each other. Damn. Yeah, it's just about respect. That's how sure I am. She won't win. Guys, vote for Kamala. No, no. This, this, this is a joke, chat. Do not base your votes off of this. <laughs> I'm not for Kamala. I have no dogs in this dog fight. I have no eggs in this basket. I I have nothing. I've got nothing in this, okay? I'm voting for stealth. Shut the fuck up. I'm campaigning for Kamala. No! This is not a campaign for Kamala. You have 10 dogs in this fight, no kids? No, we do not. Do not do not vote for Kamala because of this, okay? Do not. I have arrived and I see kids is gonna show feet. <laughs> is that real? Yes. But do not... Do not post. Like, do not change your vote because of this garbage, okay? This is, this is a joke post. This is an engagement post. This is an, this is an engagement post, okay? Or just... A funny hee hee moment. I do not believe that Kamala is winning. <laughs> I'm voting for Trump. The memes of production of the last four years suck compared to 2016, 2020. I want my fire memes, but you are right. Don't your shadows about to commit voter fraud in a country they've never been to? I missed Hexagon. Ah, uh, you did. You did. Speak to and reach young men. If Kabbalah loses. If. If she wins, there doesn't have to be discussion. We shouldn't change anything. Clearly, we're doing everything right. To be clear, Clearly. I'm not saying we need to worry about women less or change any positions. I'm saying the polling around young men is concerning. And if it turns out to be true, we need to have a discussion about how condescending we are coming off to a huge part of the electorate. To be clear, Damn. I'm not saying we have to change anything. I'm just wondering why men aren't voting for us. Hmm. What? I am gonna regret hmm. posting this so hard. And oh boy, did he. The replies were insane, <gasps> oh, to say no. the least. I must oh, admit, no. I cringed reading most of this. I feel that one thing you didn't address is the systemic entitlement bestowed upon white men in the US. That sense of entitlement, that privilege they felt for eternity, is eroding. Systemic entitlement they have felt for eternity? What? God, 22 years old! The f do you mean eternity? Who is this, like, 200-year-old man? So, young men are snowflakes with hurt fifis because they're not the center of attention anymore. Got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, are they poor little snowflakes boo-hoo, or are they scary fascists that are gonna turn America into the Handmaid's Tale? Because they can't be both. You either care about the future, or you don't. You cannot simultaneously hand wave away men moving to fascism, but also fearmonger about it. Hi, man here. Maybe men Hi. just need to stop being absolute pieces of dog shit. It seems like the easiest thing to do. What was the equivalent of a uh, pick me for man? What was it? Snowflake? I don't know. That guy's definitely snowflake, but it's not- that's not the equivalent. Equivalent. What- what's the male equivalent, chat? A nice guy? <laughs> Incel? <laughs> yeah, I guess both of these are fitting. Oh boy, a bitch. She said insult early? Okay, that is an insult. Right? I don't feel alienated or uncomfortable with democratic messaging because I'm not a complete wannabe fascist cheese dick incel loser who thinks he's the good guy. What? Cheese Reddit and its consequences loser. have been a disaster for the male race. They just need to get off their asses, stop playing video games, and get real jobs. First of all- Look at how old that guy race. is. Of course he said need... that. Like, look, look at that guy. That guy's around his 60s, probably? <laughs> yeah, just need to get off their asses and stop playing video games because video games are nothing. Video games are nothing. Have you guys seen the uh, 
Ibelin documentary from WoW, by the way. Have you guys seen that all? Yeah, say again that it's just a fucking video game. Say that again. I dare you, watch it and say it again. Fucking shit brought me to tears. That shit brought me to tears, by the way. Holy shit. Wait, what? Um, let me find it. Here it is. A new documentary, The Remar Remarkable Life of Ibelin, is now streaming on Netflix. The documentary follows the story of a popular World of Warcraft player, Matt Steen, who passed away at 25. His parents then found that he made a massive impact on WoW players around the world. Players gathered after the doc's release at Ibelin's grave to leave flowers and light candles in his memory. It is a beautiful documentary. It's like two hours long, or shortly under two hours. It's beautiful. Watch this and say again that it's just a fucking video game. To get off their asses, stop playing video games and get real jobs. First of all, first of all, what real jobs? These guys are coming out of college with useless diplomas and there are no true. jobs. Also, true, oh, that's true, too. Boomer ass take. Get off your ass and stop playing those video games. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Literally. From the generation who watches TV 24-7. I don't yeah. want to hear it. Tell them to get therapy. Tell them whatever you told or gave to women in the 1950s. What? They made this bed. Let them sleep alone in it. Or be <laughs> Proud mom of Navy Nuke. Okay. Be better men. I hate this. I hate this. Bro, I hate this fucking Twitter speech. Fucking... Hope this helps. Be better. Disgusting! DISGUSTING! Do better. Be better. Hope this helps. Shut the fuck up and suck my cock! Any other group of people and it's, oh, boo-hoo, poor baby. Let me rewire all of society so your feelings aren't hurt. And then with men, it's get therapy. Be f***ing better. While there is truth in messaging needs to be better from Democrats as a whole, I reject that telling young men they need to be better is the problem. They are trash in their nature. And if they can't do the work to not be toxic waste of seed, that's on them. Another incel. <laughs> Vote for my team, by the way. We may not want to hear it, but this is what the data reflects. There is a massive loneliness epidemic in this country, which is disproportionately affecting men. Instead of calling them incels or mocking them, we should be willing to hear out their concerns. Wow, a surprisingly okay. good tweet in a sea of bullshit. That's nice to see. How bad is it gonna wrong, be? But I'm assuming you're a straight white man, so yeah, go do something about it. Why are you guys bothering the rest of us with this? I can't figure it out. Because I would what? like for Democrats to win the election. Why do you care about men suffering? Because I want to win the election. Amazing. This is the issue right here. <sighs> That's literally just for their own benefit. It's just for his own benefit. Oh my god. They only care if it benefits them. Oh my god. Start seeing men as people and not numbers in polls. That is step one. You can't even do step one. Anyway, there were thousands of these kind of tweets in response to this guy. You get it. We've seen it all before. If I went through all of them, this video would be three hours long. White Dudes for Harris wasn't the only strange attempt the Democrats threw out at the last second to get the male vote. Hey, white dudes. So... In the American colors. I think colors. we're all pretty sick of hearing how much we suck. Every time you go yeah. online, it's the same story. We're sure. the problem. And yeah, yeah, sure. Some white dudes are. Oh, boy. Trump and all his mad. <laughs> I got buddies are out there making it worse. Okay. That's that. It's just a smearing campaign. Instead of showing positivity, they try to make the other ones look worse. Are you f***ing kidding me? Years of these people saying men suck and are the problem, and now they're like, Hey, fellow men, are you sick of being told you suck and are the problem? The audacity. Apparently, Kamala Harris has a secret weapon to win over male voters. Oh, Kamala Harris is turning to her running mate, Tim Walls, hoping he is the secret weapon who can chip away secret at Donald weapon. Trump's support from men. Much like how Trump chose secret tends to weapon. win over the more establishment Republican voters, Kamala seems to have chosen Tim Walls to try and win over the white male vote. 
And boy, are they trying. Oh, God. Now, I don't hate Tim Walls. In fact, I was pleasantly surprised when they chose him over Josh Shapiro. I like a lot of his policies, like his universal school lunch policy. That's an amazing policy. You'd have to be an insane freak to disagree with that. Or a libertarian. But I repeat myself. And there were a few times where he was speaking where I completely forgot he was running to be Kamala's VP and not president himself. And he actually brought oh, a lot of energy to the Democratic stage for once. Oh, so God. what the f was this? Putting out a bunch of ads of Tim Walls changing the air filter in a car, clumsily okay. shooting a gun, and drawing a political football play-by-play. -play. Oh no. Putting out Walls like some kind of minstrel show of a white man. Like a man dressing up like a man for Halloween. You don't gotta yeah. do all this, bro, I promise you. And they don't yeah, shy away about how this. that's exactly what they are trying to do. Tim Walls is clearly a Midwest man's man, but he's the antidote to toxic MAGA masculinity. What? Despite his typically masculine resume as a Midwestern football coach and veteran, Walls is utilizing those qualities to push forward a more progressive, compassion-based form of masculinity. Part of being a vice president is understanding that you are just that, someone who is there to aid and support the president. Walls simply being there on the ticket with a woman and taking a back seat to his running mate, Vice President Kamala Harris, is him embracing his leadership role in a positive, masculine way. Football coach and cheerleader, how Tim Walls- <laughs> So, from the last one? From this one? He's embracing his leadership role? In a positive masculine way because he's not the president himself and just the vice president. Okay, got it. Because he's not actually the leader. He's just a support. So that that's positive masculinity now because he's not actually going to be the president because being a male president is toxic masculinity. Am I getting this right? So Trump is toxic masculinity confirmed. Got it. Leadership role in a positive, masculine way. Football coach and cheerleader. How Tim Walls is defining masculinity. <laughs> okay. Amy Deal, a sexism researcher and author of the 2023 book Glass Walls, told USA Today. Amy Deal, a sexism researcher. Let me guess. Let me guess. I don't even want to guess. Let's let's hear. There are men out. like Walls who are intentional about rejecting traits and beliefs commonly dubbed as toxic masculinity are the tonic to harmful stigma associated with expectations of men and boys. He shows what? you can be masculine, but also not threatened by women as equals or women who are in positions of power. In fact, you can be cheerleaders for them. No. Yeah. Okay. It is what I thought. It is what I thought. It is what I thought. She 100% believes that you can't be sexist towards men. 100% sexism researcher, by the way. Sexism, sexism researcher, by the way. Notice the common theme here. Taking a back seat. Cheerleading. Yeah. Like five different articles I read specifically use this word cheerleading. Even a few about Kamala Harris's husband, Doug. God knows we need an antidote for all the lousy men in the news, and I think I found one. A lovable oh goofball who is happy to cheerlead for his wife, the vice president of the US. Thank God for Doug Emhoff. Successful guys can support their wives and be respected. You sure. don't have to be the quarterback to play the game at an elite level. Emhoff and his breed of dudes who are giving it their best shot may never be as come hither to lost young men as the militant Andrew Tate models of manhood, but they are out there and, not unlike good husbands, will appear when they are needed. From the outside looking in, the right promises young men a return to the good times. Of the glorious past. You know, the one your grandfather had. The Coca-Cola ad rose-tinted version of the past. Back when you can afford a house and support a family on one Yay. income. While the left, which historically, in my opinion, had the policies to make that happen, are instead trying to sell men a vision of the future. And well, the future is female. A future where you're no longer God is a woman! Hold on, the VP is a husband? No, 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 no. Um, no. She mentioned someone else for the Playing the, the game, men. You're on the sidelines being the a cheerleader. Doesn't that just sound so exciting? Like, what the hell is going on inside these DNC consultant meetings? I really gotta know. <clears throat> Does anyone have any ideas on how to appeal to young men? And please, for the love of God, do not say we have to offer them anything or change in any way. I got it. What? Camo hat. We did that. Vasectomy bus. We did that. Have you perhaps tried nagging them? Yes, yes, we've been doing that. Say, 
You know that whole male loneliness epidemic thing? Oh, God. Mm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh no. Nice Have you been here before? Yeah. It's one of my favorite spots. I bring everybody here. I didn't I vote, okay. I go on a lot of dates, but... Sorry, but paid for by Harris for the president. I'm sorry, chat, but from my understanding of the voting system, because of the um, uh, what are the, what was it called? The switch states, like uh, switch states, I believe. Where oh, because of the fucking switch states, right? The swing states, swing states. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Because of this garbage, man. And because of the way that American voting work, uh, the way that American voting works as well, where you vote within the state and then it's counted to what the states voted and shit. And because of swing states, the fucking elections. I feel like voting is so fucking rigged. Like not officially rigged, but like still kind of rigged and really unfair. It really doesn't feel as every as if every person had their own fucking vote. And in the end, because of swing states, sometimes it's better to not fucking vote. Because otherwise, your vote would just be converted to the other person. From my simple understanding of the American voting system. That's disgusting. To me, as a German citizen, where every vote counts for itself, from my knowledge anyway, this is rigged. Citizen State Electoral College final results. It's so disgusting. Why? Why? Why is it like that? Why isn't... Why doesn't one count, one vote count for an actual vote? The way that voting is rigged is because of, for electorals. If you are in a blue state, you vote red. It's basically dead. That's what I mean. We'll break it down for you, Kitsu. I... I think I got the basic understanding of it, right? But it's so cringe. They set it up in 1700s. Don't ask me. It's so bad. It's literally... It's literally so they just can't control it. Elections are rigged. You're right. It's up to a little system called the Electoral College that decides on almost everything. Electoral College makes sense when you understand it. I don't think this makes sense at all! Like, voting is even rigged in the local level due to Gary Mandering or etc. I don't know what that is. It's an illusion of choice. It literally is. I just realized why this is familiar. This is how Kathleen Kennedy runs Disney Star Wars. Oh, God. Oh, Kathleen Kennedy. A lot of red states are like that. We all hate the elect electoral college regardless of party line. Sounds like the rich and powerful is controlling shit. Yeah! Old smart men knew what they were doing. Yeah. I like how George Washington didn't want two parties so American, yet here we are today. Well, would you look at that. The problem of electoral college today is scale. Uh. If people think democracy is in danger simply due to Trump getting in office, I got some news for ya. We already screwed. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Okay, let's let's move on. Hey, men, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, women won't f*** you. Brilliant. Young men should know that if you vote for Trump, you're basically never going to get laid. I don't okay. know if it's a big issue, but have you heard of gerrymandering? I have not. I have no idea what that is. No. Happy Halloween, kids and shit. Happy Halloween to you, too. I'm scared for the future. I might move to Europe if this kids up, honestly. Understandably so. I mean, is it incorrect? Don't think Trump so. gives girls the egg while Harris got laid. <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. So, Trump gives girls the ick. Vote Harris, get laid. Uh, they are not feeding the pretending to be progressive to get laid allegations with this one. Literally yep. just endorsing woke fishing. <laughs> when men pretend to be more progressive on dating apps to get laid. Do not do this, by the way. Be open and honest about your opinions. And no, literally, you cannot fix them. <laughs> also pretty weird and like 
low-key sexist to imply like women are some prize for voting the correct way. Oh my god. Hey, and if all She's actually right. That is actually so bad. All else fails, go after the gooner vote. Oh my god. Oh! Sorry, you can't do that. What the hell, man? How'd you get in here? I'm your Republican congressman. Now that we're in charge. What am I? What am I watching? We're banning porn nationwide. <laughs> no! I fucking, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love this ad. The one time they speak to men directly, and it's, hey men, the Republicans are gonna take away one of the only vices you use to numb the pain. So vote for us. Bleak. Just the absolute state of the world right now. Also. Yeah, didn't they fucking ban Coinhub in fucking Texas? Did they ban- why? <laughs> like, why are they banning corn? I don't get it. Yeah, that's the real thing. Yeah, yeah, I heard like last year or something. But well, I just don't understand why. Like, what's the point? No linkage for you, random male. Base Texas to be honest. What the people have the fucking corn, man? Like, I just I don't understand. Take away the corn and I'm self to <laughs> No! Oh! No! They are apparently using corn men as proxy to ban anything they don't like, like LGBTQ plus stuff. What the fuck? They said they had to a add age verification. Oh? So VPN stocks up, oh my god, is it just a VPN stock ploy? The Americans had said they might move to Europe. Your tax is an American based in citizenship, not residence. If you move, you will have to pay taxes. Not if you get a citizenship of somewhere else. <laughs> and in USA, in order to free yourself of American taxes, you need to renounce your citizen. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Just renounce your citizenship. Become a citizen of somewhere else. Simple. I know it's not that simple, okay? I know it's not that simple, but honestly, I don't blame anyone for not wanting to be American anymore. I don't blame you at all. So, was that Germa? Believe it or not, this wasn't the worst of it. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. And I'm man enough. This is so... This is, this is, oh my god. This is, this is just so patronizing. Like, what the fuck? I'm man enough to enjoy a barrel-proof bourbon. Neat. Man enough to cook my steak rare. You think I'm- <laughs> <laughs> If you don't have your steak rare, <laughs> you're not mad enough! I'm afraid to rebuild a carburetor. I eat carburetors for breakfast. I'll tell you another thing I sure as shit am not afraid of. Women. When I first saw this, I thought it was a parody created by- <laughs> Chat, are you afraid of women? <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Chat, are you afraid of women? <laughs> Their wife's Paul. boyfriends pay for everything. <laughs> they do! <laughs> afraid of women. Women, yes. No. Start. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> women! Ah! <laughs> Angry women are scary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the votes for the poll. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps going up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, suddenly we got we got six for no. Thirty! Thirty-two people are saying they're not they're afraid of women! Chat, we are cooked! We are so cooked! We are terrified of you kids and why? I'm just a friendly neighborhood fox. I'm not a woman. I got a huge cock. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I got boobs, I got a vagina, I'm so scary. <laughs> <laughs> the no voters are the women. Uh, here, I'll, I'll vote for yes. <laughs> Not afraid of women, but afraid of how I appear. Damn. Damn. Back to the <laughs> Holy shit. We can't hit them. What do we do? <laughs> I'm a woman and I'm very much scared of women. <laughs> Republicans to make fun oh, of how oops. hard the Democratic Party is trying to pander to men to get their vote. But alas. I love women. Alas. I love women who support their families. Women who decide not to have families. Women <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this. We're, we're gonna do another one. Do you love women? Yes. <laughs> Women who take charge, and I'm man enough to help them win. Wow! Everything from them directed towards men has to have like this tone of irony or self-deprecation. They can't even do it sincerely. But apparently white men aren't the only demographic Kamala is struggling with. This is the democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 and present. Democrats margin black men and age 18 to 45? What the hell? No. 96% are saying, yeah, you do love women, man. You guys are cute. You're scared of them, but you still love them. Oh my god. <laughs> Wholesome chat. <laughs> Wholesome chat. The duality of chat? Yeah, the duality of chat, man. Kitsu, bin, bist nur ein Deutsch Fuchs. Yes, I'm just a German flow fox. Chat, you're being wholesome today. <laughs> You're so wholesome today, chat. What the hell? <laughs> ...presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? Mm -hmm. You see Obama by 81. Yeah. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls and Kamala Harris is up Damn. by only 41 points. Democrats deployed their ultimate weapon, Barack Obama. At a campaign stump for Harris on Thursday in Pittsburgh, Obama said that despite Harris raising upward of $1 billion, we have yet to see the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. That lag in energy, he added, appears, quote, to be more pronounced with the brothers. You're coming huh? up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that, he said, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman for president, and you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. Once again, they just don't want a woman for- Bro, I bet, I actually think a lot of people would welcome the first woman president, but she's got to be fucking competent. <laughs> She's got to be fucking competent, man. I don't think anyone has anything against a woman president at this point, man. Like, we are... We're 2024, man. Like, I think people would celebrate a female president. Uh, but... Not an incompetent, incompetent one. And their only tactic seems to be getting in a man's face and going tisk tisk bad boy tisk, tisk. like a dog that just peed on the carpet it's not 2014 anymore brock nobody cares about sexism motherfucker. we can't afford groceries what's crazy is literally literally it's inflation we care about as i know Kamala herself has never played the woman card. She has never played the sexism card in fact she actively pushes against it well then it's just uh, the Democratic Party that's making her look bad. That's crazy. You've been reluctant to lean into, to talk about the historic nature of your candidacy on the campaign trail. Why is that? Oh, well, I'm clearly a woman. <laughs> I don't need to point that out to anyone. Uh, the, the point that most people really care about is, can you do the job? And do you have- That's respectable. Like, full on, that's respectable. Like, that's respectable a answer. Plan to actually focus on them. I was proud. It's like they finally learned from Hillary Clinton's failure, but that didn't stop the media or fuck 
Barack Obama from doing it for her. Thanks, Obama. Uh, for all the Zoomers, thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama! Obama was a meme in, like, 2008. Yeah. It was funny back then. That would have that would have that would have slapped. <laughs> While I was writing this video, Kamala and Gretchen Whitmore were getting ready to film a video at a bar together when oh? Kamala was apparently caught on hot mic saying this. Yeah. Uh, that said, we want to improve the ground game among men. Oh, we have microphones. Oh, it's listening to everything. Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, well, You'll my F words. We I just apologize. told all the family secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We need to move ground with men, so what we're gonna do is pretend to drink beer at a bar. Men like beer, right? Cheers. 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 Just men like beer! Talk about policy. Just be yourself. Just listen to men and what they want. Kamala, all you gotta do is talk. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, that might make it worse. Put Tim Walls out there, okay? Let Tim Walls... Do the talking. Don't dress him up as a man. <laughs> you wanna know how to speak to men? Go to where they are. A good place to speak to young men is the Joe Rogan podcast, which Kamala hints. Yep. By the way, Trump did that thing, right? I still gotta watch I still gotta watch it. I didn't watch it. I saw some clips of it and I heard Esmongold is gonna do a three part of it, so I'm very excited about that one. Very excited about that one. But Kamala Harris has put um, up some conditions to be going on to the Joe Rogan show. Have you guys heard her conditions? Her conditions, instead of the three hours, it would be one hour. And here's the most disrespectful thing. I don't, I don't think the one hour, three hour thing, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Sure, whatever. The big deal to me is, is that she said she doesn't she wants to do it at the location of her choosing. And I think that is so disrespectful. Fuck that. It's his show. Do it in his studio. Why not? Why not? What's there against it? You're going onto his show. It's kind of odd and insulting. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it messes up the whole vibe. Absolutely. They wanted to do it in their studio so they could have a teleprompter. <laughs> that has to be it, right? That has to be fucking it. Oh my god, she has a p the plan of the taxpayer money. That is true, yeah. Taxpayer money, it's going into the fucking Fortnite map, man. It had going on, but then that never happened, and instead Trump went on, and that episode hit like 20 million views in a day. But I haven't like, seen it yet. Can Got you blame us. her? Joe Rogan is just one of the most popular podcasts in the world with a majority young male audience. I hate it here. Every time this topic comes up, so does the topic of like Andrew Tate, Jordan Peterson, internet algorithms, Gamergate, whatever. There is a massive amount of- oh, I'm so done with this guy, man. I'm so done with this guy. Wild fucking Hassan jump scare. I hate this guy, genuinely. He's such a dickhead. I'm so sick and tired of hearing from him. I thought I would be safe right-wing radicalization that has been occurring especially in younger male spaces any hobbies whatsoever whether it's playing video games whether it's working out whether it's i don't know listening to like a history podcast or whatever uh -huh. everything that they see is right-wing sentiment being expressed by individuals that they find charismatic but you can only blame internet algorithms for so much for so long this automatic assumption that any dissent from liberal mainstream thought could only be caused by manipulation or brainwashing from podcasters is honestly a cope in my opinion and just an easy excuse for failing to reach anyone beyond your own subreddit <laughs> as if this all Right. wasn't the result of like a stagnant neoliberal corpo hell world that created a vacuum that was just waiting to be filled with some kind, any kind of populism. The crazy thing is the Democratic Party did have a candidate who successfully spoke to the demographic that they are currently trying so hard to reach. His name was what? Bernie Sanders. And oh yeah, he did right, speak Bernie. to that demographic or say he was concerned that the Democratic Party didn't do enough to speak to that demographic. He was called a sexist, a racist. He was backstabbed multiple times and cheated um, out of winning the Democratic primaries. His fans were called Bernie bros and constantly berated. 
Bernie Bros made me finally recognize misogyny in America. What? Sexists and misogynists. His campaign was too white and too male. And this apparently was a top priority to remedy in future campaigns. We were told he was just like Trump and quote, appealed to angry white men. Well, 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 who's trying to appeal to angry white men now? Oh bitch? boy. It's almost like Bernie's hyper History repeats itself, isn't it? Kind of anyway. The Bernie Bros. Bernie Bros, race up! Bernie Bros sounds like a good franchise. <laughs> focus on working class issues, bread and butter issues, and populism was naturally attractive to men. No football or beer required. <sighs> I miss him. And you know what? Maybe this shift with young men has less to do with who's holding the football and more of what happens when the DNC spends all their time and energy trashing the little bit of populism in their movement. And if you ask me, handing conservatives a monopoly on anti-establishment rhetoric on a silver platter was probably their first mistake. They kind of gave up on that bread and butter New Deal stuff for identity politics. And if you deny this, you are either lying or coping. The physical manifestation hey! of the left has gone from the vision of the blue collar union worker to a nagging scolding fat woman with blue hair. Bart <laughs> there it is, I was about to say blue hair. I was about to say and she has blue hair. Thank you, Shu. Why is it always blue hair? Why is it always blue her hair? What is it about them having blue hair, man? Why do they all have blue hair? Stop it! You're ruining the hair color! Charging into everyone's spaces and culturally colonizing them. Change this, change that. I don't like this, I don't like that. It's just incredible for me to witness years of anti-male rhetoric finally come back to bite the left and Democrats in the ass. Watching these chickens come home to roost has just been both incredibly depressing and deliciously vindicating to me in a sick f way. And I'm not I sure <laughs> if I should lend out a helping hand or Mufasa them off this fucking cliff. I totally get her though. Some Democrats are nervous the party was too late to realize the problem. These Democrats worry that the party has focused too much on courting women voters, LGBTQ voters, and culturally progressive voters, alienating too many men in the process. Bro, how many- What's the- Fucking demographic of men to women in America? Is it a clean 50-50 split? A percentage of men- versus women in America, or men, women, America, man. So, the percentage of female population is 49.76% compared to the 50% of male population. So 50% male population. And how many of them are white? Slightly less men than women? It seems to be the other way around now. Like, this is from August 2024. Seems to be a slightly higher male population. How many white males population America compared to like... According to 2020% census, 71% of people were white alone in combination and 61% people were white alone, okay? So like... Yeah, that's probably like 40%. I'm sorry, I'm really bad at math. So like, they're alienating fucking 40-ish percent of the entire country. Race and Hispanic origin white alone, percentage 75.3%. Uh, Black American alone, percentage... Th uh, yeah, okay. About 37.5. Yeah, so yeah, 40% was a good assumption, I would say. So yeah, they are alienating 40% of the entire American population. What do they expect? What are they expecting? Plus, on top of that, they're not only alienating white men, they're alienating a lot of men. Like, looking away from the race, as well, right? Like, it, it's definitely not 50%, like, it's definitely not all of them, because they are, like, fucking LGBTQ uh, people, uh, what else in 
the male population too, but I would still say it's about 40%. Like, looking away from the LGBTQ members, uh, whatever else, it's still about 40%. They're still fucking alienating 40%. Like, she's, she gave up reading that? Yeah, that's too many statistics, man. <laughs> There's a recognition that we're losing men, and the things we're doing around men haven't been working. I think a lot of it is a reaction to social progressivism done in the wrong way, says David Hogg. Young men, he says, feel like progressives look down on them for saying the wrong thing, even when it's a mistake. That discomfort is enough to drive them away from the Democratic Party, even if they don't yeah. necessarily agree with Republicans. Yeah! They would rather be around someone they don't agree with who doesn't judge them than somebody that they do agree with who judges them constantly. Absolutely fucking agreed. Absolutely agreed. Because if you disagree with someone, you can still find compromises. If the person fucking hates you, there's not much to do. There's no room to talk. Like, uh, that's just logic. That's just human fucking logic. Holy shit, man. Men aren't moving right because they are choosing fascism. They are moving right because the left made them the villains in their anime fan yeah. fiction. It's not that they all like Trump. It's that they all hate you. And yes. no amount of camo hats yes. is going to fix that. But do not yes. get it twisted. I do not in any way, shape, or form believe the GOP is going to help men. I don't think they're going to help anyone. Except maybe Israel. Do I think all of the left is some hyper woke fat lady wagging her finger in men's faces like no fun allowed? No. If I did, I wouldn't call myself left wing. I'm not a Democrat. I'm a registered independent. But the Democratic Party is historically better on policy and despite their messaging, even when it comes to helping men. Healthcare, higher wages, paid family leave, labor protection, social security. Things Republicans have always fought against. And I think that's why this is extra frustrating to me. I don't say this with understandably any love so. for the Republican. Understandably so, because politics, um, my limited knowledge of that, like the uh, left that was years ago are moving more and more to the left extremism. Same for the right. Both ends of the spectrum of politicians are moving more more old far you know it's ridiculous and there's no in between it's allowed you're either with them or in against them it's like, bro shut the fuck up of course the most annoying women have blue hair because the democratic color is blue so it makes sense oh my god you might be right <laughs> you might be right so a lot of people in the poverty are partially voting against their own interest, picking people like Trump. But the other side is much better. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? You're fucked either way. That mentality is going to make a country to itself a puzzle. It is. Yeah. It is. As many in poverty depend on government assistance in the USA. What are you gonna do, right? Either agree with me or be my enemy. The entirety of the left. Yeah, but I think that's the fucking old right too. Like, that's the fucking far right or old right or extremist right as well. You're either with them or against them. It's on both ends. It's on both ends. Fucking party. In fact, Pick if anything, person, I yeah. say it with love for the Democratic Party. I fucking hate them. But deep down, I wish they could be better. I'm doing this for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> no! Please go sleep. Shh. Go to sleep. I love you. Go to sleep. Shh. I just hope that whether Kamala wins or loses, the party can take a step back and evaluate what they're doing wrong. Because I don't think the Democratic Party should be the party for the gays and women. I think the Democratic Party should be the party for everyone. Yes! Including angry white men. So yes! in your opinion, what could the Democratic Party do to win back young men? Can they do anything? Are they fucked? To me, it might- Like- I took that stupid ass politician oh, political compass test the other day, right? Like we did that on stream. And according to that, I'm European, and don't fucking shoot me people for this one. Remember, I'm European, I'm German, most European countries work this way. I'm a social democrat, was it? Or a democrat socialist? No, social democrat, right? There was a difference in between those. According to that, my policy is Live and not live, but there needs to be some structure to keep things in check. And that's how it should be. If Bernie Sanders wants to be president, he already have my vote. As all prioritizing minorities above us all will do 
is risk the majority vote along with inviting bigots to protect Politics is a mess, it is, it is. Take decades of work to fix the culture, the rot that infests the progressive ideology. It is going to take a lot of work to fix, but I think it it's is. worth it, not just for the Democratic Party's sake, but just for society's America's sake. sake. If you like this video, yeah. please consider donating to my Patreon, link uh, down below. It really America's helps the channel out, and I needs to be fixed. so, so much. Also, thank huh. you for two million subscribers. That's insane. Hey! And I will see you guys with a new video soon. Bye! Two million subs now! Huge! Boom, 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 boom. Fucking two mil! Fucking huge! <laughs> no, I'll take. Let me be in charge of the DNC for a day, Nancy Pelosi. I am very normal and can be trusted with that amount of power. Yeah! 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 yeah. She's got my vote. <laughs> She's got my vote. <laughs> bye YouTubes! Yeah, bye YouTubes! Bye YouTubes! Thanks for watching! <laughs> bye bye!